Hey guys, it's Emily back. So I finally got everything from Farm Below um, that I got um, from today's, like today when we went shopping and from Wednesday, I think. And I'm gonna show you all of that. So I'm really excited. So I hope you enjoyed this week's video. And don't forget to leave a comment down below what your favorite item, what your favorite item was. So don't forget to do that. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is this panda cup I got. Um, it just says me all over it. Um, all my old accounts, like and stuff, like on Animal Jam and on Roblox, I used to play was like Lover, Lover of Pandas 14 or something. I don't know, but everything was um, pandas. And I mean pandas, like I had so many pandas in my room that I actually had to put them all upstairs because that's how many like my other family members would get. So I got this cup and I can't wait to, to use it. Oh, um, I think, I don't remember. I had the receipt though. Um, on Wednesday I spent $16 and 96 cents. Um, where is it? What's a rope? Well, I know what a rope is, but um, lavender, rose on hoop earring. Oh. I don't know. Where does it say? Oh wait, I think my my mom got this one for me. I think it was like three or four dollars. I think I don't know something like that. But yeah. And then I got this carpet for by my vanity. It's blue, of course, because I love blue. Um, this was five dollars too. And once I get like everything, and like once I use it, um, it will be probably a later couple videos down the road. Um, but I will show you guys everything eventually, slowly. But yeah, it's really soft. Isn't it soft? Um, but yeah, they had a pink one. Or no, a purple one, but I like blue. I love blue, I should say that. Then I got these rose earrings and really it's stuck. Okay, there we go. I got these rose earrings and they were three dollars. I also these ones I have in I got like last year these earrings and they were around the same price. I love five and below is like earrings and stuff. I get a lot of things from five and below, earring wise and stuff. Um, but yeah, so that's this one. They still had a lot of them left at five and below at the store. So if you guys have a nearby five and below, I would recommend go getting these. Cause they're, they're heavy, <laughs> they're heavy. So if you don't like heavy earrings, um, I don't think you'd like those, but I don't mind them. Then I got this Jojo bow and it's a lavender bow, but it's purple. <coughs> I got it for Dolan Twin Tuesday because um, I have a lot of purple outfits, more than I thought. So I thought that this would be a very good match to my outfits. Even though it's like an offset purple, it's, um, it was still match. It's pur purple's purple to me. Um, but Jojo Bo was five dollars, by the way. Hi, Jumpy. Um, then I got this stress ball because I lost my other one, but I love these. Um, it's good for like if you have anxiety and stuff, and if you just feel anxious, if you just squeeze it. Um, it also smells weird at first, like rubber. So, but the stress ball I think was three dollars. I don't know. It doesn't say. They have four things on here. I got more than that. Um, we're gonna say it's like three dollars, I think, or maybe two dollars. I don't remember. That's another thing that I'm not sure of. Then I got this. It's called a rope bowl, rope tray, and this was three dollars. I got this because like I have like a lot of these like worry rocks and stuff, and I'm gonna like sit them on there so then I have like my worry rocks and stuff in here. Plus it was really pretty. They had a black one, but I don't like really like black stuff in my room. Cause my room's mainly um white stuff. So yeah. So that's it for the first bag. And then we have 
all of today's stuff so i'm gonna be happy to show all of you that also this could work as a hat <laughs> so my dad thought it was a hat when i got it no joke <laughs> um but yeah so i'll see you guys in my one second so you guys probably seen some of the stuff i don't know if i sh i can't remember if i showed everything i got i don't think i did but my grand total was that i spent um was $39.45 um but yeah mainly the average price for stuff was five dollars that i got but that's okay it's good i love five and below so i don't mind um so the first thing that's on the list is my if i can get it out is my california slash la pillow it is so soft so soft and it also is very squishy it's so, it feels so nice on my face right now they had um they had tokyo they had um new york and they had another place i can't remember but i wanted california and la because i'm i want to move to california well los angeles but i want to move there because and plus the twins, the twins, as you all know, live in LA. So yeah. And then the next thing I got, it's called, what is it called? Um, see, I can't find any of this. It's the Urban Butterfly. Um, I know it's not on here. I don't know. But I think this was like $5 which it's for like to get your makeup brushes and rub it on them so like you get all the makeup off like when you clean them and stuff um as you can see the picture right there which oh it even says what to do on here that's cool it's like a bath mat I mean, don't use it as a bath mat please don't use it as a bath mat but <laughs> yeah and then i got this wireless shower speaker um so apparently you can put this in the shower and it's like waterproof um that's what i'm assuming that it says shower speaker so yeah from the picture i'm thinking it's waterproof um i'll have to try it out and stuff um oh you can answer calls built-in mic to answer calls powerful speaker and play Play music from your M mp3 device um which just means basically like anything that connects to bluetooth basically um <laughs> i'll let you know though how that is um oh i got another pack of earrings speaking of it um it's these black earrings i seen them when i was there on wednesday but i really like the rose ones so i decided to get those and plus that's the day i came up with the idea for this this week's video um well the five and below shopping haul or whatever you want to call it but um yeah i thought these were pretty cool because i wear a lot of like darker clothes too and black's like a neutral color goes with everything so those were three dollars by the way and the speaker was five dollars i have to say that too um and then the face mask was four dollars i remember that um, this was $4, um, I'll also let you know how this is. This is what the, ew. this is what the color is. It's like, um, I don't know what it would, you would call it, but it kind of looks like poop in a, in a sense, but I'm sure it's really good for your face. And then I got this for Ethan because I know how much he loves pineapples and pineapple pizza, I should say, but uh, I don't know if he still eats pineapple pizza since it's not dairy free, I guess. Um, but it's a pineapple sponge. Um, I think it's that's what it is. Yeah, a sponge. Um, it seems rough, but I'm sure once you get it wet and stuff, it'll be really soft. Um, I'll also let you know how that is too. Um, but I thought it was really cute. They also had a watermelon one. Um, the by the way, this was a dollar fifty. Um, they had a watermelon one that said love on it. Um, I think that was it, but I could be wrong. But the love was like two different colors. More said love on it. It was really cute, but I like the pineapple. 
Um, then I got this thing. <laughs> it was pretty random. Um, it's called a keyboard vacuum cleaner. <laughs> you clean off like your keyboard and stuff with it. Um, here, um, it has two vacuum nozzles. The mini vacuum cleaner comes with two different nozzles that allow you to reach all through all the tough places. Um, the flat nozzle can inhale little pieces of paper while the brush nozzle allows you to pick up dry dust and dirt. There's a washable filter too. Okay, this thing I'm actually very interested to see if it works right now. Um, um, warranty is 12 months. Okay, this was $5, I know that. Um, keyboard, oh wait, no, keyboard vacuum, $4. I was wrong, I should not assume. Um, oh, and then I have my dad's shoes, which the reason why I call them dad's shoes is because the twins have a pair and they say dad shoes with it. Um, there's this like gray and <laughs> <coughs> There's this like gray and black. Um, by the way, that was not a choking once again. Um, but I got mine pink, but I call them dad shoes. <laughs> the one pair of none of shoes I used to wear and stuff. Well, I still do, but I don't remember where they are. Um, those, those are five dollars, five dollars, the dad shoes. Um, <laughs> I used to go outside and I used to yell dad shoes and I got my dad shoes on and stuff, but I, I don't question things that I do anymore. Um, and then this is a selfie studio mini smartphone tripod with self, selfie ring light this um it looks pretty interesting i was debating between this and a little twist around handle thing um like a carry around thing i guess you could say i don't know i don't know what the exact name was but i'm sure if you google pictures of it it will um come up i'll try to get a picture to, uh, for you guys to understand what this was that i'm talking about um oh perfect for live streaming um selfies and video chat cool 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 um smart tech yeah that was called the smart tech section um i was looking at that that was that was five dollars too um i think that's everything i got but probably the most random thing i got was this vacuum thing i would say um yeah, that was, yeah, it was pretty random. Um, and this, um, I really hope this works because this is really cool. But part of me thinks it might fail just a little if it doesn't stick. Oh wait, it doesn't stick to the wall. I don't know, I'll figure it out, but it doesn't look like it sticks to the wall. I'm not quite sure, but I'm assuming it's waterproof. Um, but <laughs> um, yeah, so, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you haven't, go check out last week's video. Um, the link will be down in the description. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe for more weekly videos. I post every Thursday and turn on the little bell. Um, and if you haven't, follow all my social medias. I'll put them right here and in the description too. Also, if you screenshot a picture that you subscribe and had the post notifications on and what is that on me? Okay. And you tweet me at Emberly Jarback right here. Um, and if I see it and it comes up, I will give you a follow and I'll give you a shout out to next week's video. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's video and I will see you guys next week. I love you guys. Peace. Okay guys, so I have this light on and then I have a pair to make sure I can like everywhere on my face. Um, and yes, the pink eyeshadow. I tried to get it off as best as I could, but I think it stayed in my eyelids, which I don't mind because it'll come off when I shower. I don't mind it though. Um, so I'm gonna brush out my bangs first, so they're more okay, so they're more easier to work with. So I'm gonna pull them back in a ponytail till I take off the mat or pull it off. Um, but yeah. Um, 
as you can tell, I look really weird because you guys are used to seeing me with bangs, not without. Um, yeah. Because I'm sweating, so that's awesome. <laughs> oh, the last clip I did, my phone just fell. Um, <laughs> so that's awesome. Okay, so we're just gonna put some like right here on my hand. Oh, um, okay, on my hand, and we're just gonna. very good actually it smells really good i was afraid that it smell weird but it's like almost like when you make slime with the borax and the glue kind of smell um that's what it smells like to me so i highly recommend this one again um hopefully when I did one of these, a different, it was a different, it was the cucumber one, um, shoot. This is obviously really hot. Um, I did the cucumber mask and I got too much on, <laughs> wow, on my, um, eyebrows. Um, but I got a lot on my eyebrows and it really hurt to pull them off pulled off um so as long as you don't do that um you're in good shape um it helps like make your skin smooth and all that um it is messy putting on but it's worth it i like the uh, texture of this too it's really soft like, when you're putting it on another thing that might just be me um But you can feel it hardening, hardening. Um, um, but you can feel it getting hard while you're doing this. Um, it's fine though. It's gonna work. Um, and then if you have any extras left, like me, just rinse it off in the sink. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna shut you off now. Hey Nana, can you tell me how I look? How do I look? Okay. <laughs> Just okay? You look like you have a mask on. I don't look beautiful. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> yeah, you're always so beautiful. I have your videos. I don't think you put it back on though. I did. Yeah, if you go watch, when you, you watch this week's video, Always one of the very first viewers, by the way. So shout out to you, Nana. Uh, thank you. So, yeah. When it's ready to get peeled off, um, I'll record again. But you're supposed to leave this on for 15 to 20 minutes. So, I'll be back. Peace. Good morning, guys. Um, I have... Okay, so I'll explain my voice first. <laughs> Just, I have allergies and plus I have morning voice. Um, I don't know if everybody does, but I get it from my dad <laughs> and my mom, so that's fun. Um, but it's not a big deal, but it's whatever. But I'm gonna be using my, this pineapple loofah this morning and see how it is um i didn't real i would be using the shower speaker but i didn't realize it needed um to be charged so i'm assuming if water gets in the speaker it's gonna break but hey we're gonna have to test test it because that's just how we're gonna do it um yeah, so we're gonna be using this that I think in a place it's already bent and falling apart. Right there, but 
whatever. We're gonna still use it. Um, so yeah. Okay guys, I'm in the shower right now to use this guy. So yeah. <laughs> yesterday that um, sand thing with the light um, but I showered and stuff I'm gonna wait a little bit to get ready because my outfit for today has to dry a little bit more before we go um, to an event um, and then I'll do my makeup and a little bit to my hair so that's really the only update also, I, I don't, um, th I just thought of this now, um, the loofah was really soft once you, like, got the soap and, like, lathered it up on you, like, rubbed it, um, so, yeah, so I would recommend one, but, like, get two of them maybe, I mean, they're not expensive, they're dollar fifty. so, yeah. That's the only thing I used this morning, but that's the only update too. I just I put my, ooh, I put my um other my speaker away because I have to charge it, but I'll charge it for one of these days this week. But you're not seeing this till the week um two Thursdays, so um yeah. I will see you guys next time. Peace. Guys, I just put on my dad shoes. Um, oops. And, um, so I'm gonna sleep in them. They're actually very comfortable, actually. Um, if you hear, like, thundering and stuff, or raining, it's because it's a storm. But I have my dad shoes on, and I'll show you the next clip. They are so comfortable. Um, I plan on sleeping in them too. So yeah, I'll show you guys that in a second. So here are my dad's shoes. Um, they're size 10, 11, because I wear size 10. Um, but yeah, also, um, 
that bed I got for my cat, Kalua, and the rug for Kalua. Um, it's very soft. She has not slept in it yet, but um, hopefully that will change. Um, but yeah, the, I recommend this bed and stuff. Um, oh, I also got those flowers for my vanity. <laughs> By the way, the pillow is my California slash LA pillow is so 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 soft it is so comfortable for my neck next time i get up there i'm getting one of whatever ones i don't have seriously i recommend those 100 percent hey guys so we're gonna be testing out the shower speaker and i already have it hooked up to like the shower and stuff so hopefully this works um yeah i'll see you guys in one second okay so it is working it's hooked up um, so yeah, I'll let you guys know after I shower and stuff so I can use it and put music on and stuff. So I'll let you guys know in a minute. The speaker works very, very good. Um, it's already came charged, so I don't know how long it has to like wear, um, there. Oops. Like how long it has, but it is like so good, like you, like, seriously like you can like adjust like if you don't like the song you can skip it like all of that like on it um like you can call people and stuff on it um i didn't try that but like i would recommend getting one of these also the dad shoes i would recommend i forgot i think i forgot to say that last night but i would recommend those too um but like it comes with a cord obviously um the little white part is <laughs> mine but it works so i recommend go get yours um yeah just thought of this right now um the panda cup that you guys seen um the ear already chipped somehow um i don't know how it chipped but i i colored it in with a permanent marker and it's not really noticeable unless you look like right here at it but it already chipped um but it it's a really heavy cup and stuff and it works for me um so that's so it could go like either way um but it did chip already so i wouldn't recommend it but it also is a really heavy duty cup like it's heavy so then i would recommend it so it's really like all like what you want like if you don't think you would like it like um if you don't think you would use it and just throw it away like if it would get chipped then just don't get it but if you would still use it and just fill it in with a sharpie and would use it um i would recommend it so it's like one of those situations that's like i don't know but i would not get another cup from there that's my opinion though guys so i'm about to use my four dollar purchase from five and below as you can tell because part two this week yeah but <laughs> We're gonna use the keyboard vacuum cleaner on my laptop. Um, connect via you. Okay, I'll figure out how to use this. Um, hopefully it doesn't take batteries because I don't know where any batteries are. Um, so yeah, I'll let you guys know um, in a second. Um, so I opened the box and um, I don't know what to think, but like the box is way bigger than this vacuum. Um, I'll have to back it in the vacuum to at least be this size. Um, but like skinnier. But I opened the box and see this. Um, yeah. So we're gonna pull. Oh, okay. Jesus. Oh. Um, okay. So I'm assuming you plug it into the computer, which I'll show you guys. Maybe, um, but it doesn't look like it takes batteries. So. <laughs> um, kind of scared to use this on my computer, but we'll work with it. So I'm looking inside of it, and I don't know if this thing comes out, but it looks like there's stuff on it. Um, hopefully I just didn't break it because I was poking at it. 
Oh man, this is gonna be so. I don't even know what. Um. So. Oh my. Hold on again. Okay, so there's two different pieces you can use. You can use um the elephant trunk. I don't know what it's called. Or you can use the little dusters. Um. I think we're gonna use the little dusters and put it on here. Um, yeah, um, I don't really wanna use this on my computer because I have no idea. What if it sucks off the little keys? That I will not be happy with. Then I'll have to sue five and below. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> I promise I will show you guys what to plug this into. Um, you plug it in to like right here. I believe. Unless it's not gonna work. Um, oh, it went in that one. Okay. So how do you turn it on? Oh God. Oh, I just opened my laptop and as soon as it came on, this started going. Um. So we're gonna turn my laptop on. And there it goes. Um, so, yeah. I don't even know if I'm doing this recommend this um that's like one of the first things i did would not recommend because like when you're cleaning it you have to have your computer on and plus you press all these kind of buttons and stuff um so i guess it would be safer to use this one the other one but you probably wouldn't get as much out as you would with this one so I would not recommend it, but if you want to try it. Hey guys, so we're going to be reviewing the last thing that I got from Five and Below, which is the Urban Beauty Brush Cleaner. Um, and you put it under sink, well, I'll show you guys that, but that's what we're doing today. So enjoy this. Okay guys, so we have my makeup brushes here and this is the Urban Makeup Cleaner. Um, I forget the exact name because I had to tear it all apart because it was not coming off. That's a different story for another day. So we're gonna try this for first time. Okay. So I guess you just do this. Oh. Okay, I actually had highly doubts of this. So the heart seemed the heart seemed to be working better once I just got it all off. Um we'll try this one. See this one I used a lot more than this one. So I would assume more would come out of this. Okay. Oh, so, oh, it really is working. I wonder if like some makeup is working. That's the thing. 
Um, the hearts seem to be really working and like this, but it might just how I have it angled because it wouldn't fit anywhere else that I can't get anything off. Um, plus I just cleaned these not too long ago. I see the yellow is coming out of this one. Okay. You really have to press down hard so you don't, so you get everything out of it. Um, okay. I feel like it's getting it all out, but then I think it's not. Um, like, I think keep it held down. I think if I had it at a different angle, it would work better. But this is just how it works. Is that gonna come off now? Okay, guys, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, guys, so as I was drying my brushes, um, I realized that I think it ruined one of my brushes because I was pressed because I had to press down so hard, as you guys saw in the last clip. Um, I would not recommend this at all unless you want to do it to ruin your brushes or something. Um, as you can tell, like, this is not how a makeup brush should look. Um, all the outlines and stuff, it, it's just out. Um, I think I ruined that brush now because I tried to get it back together. It won't go back together. Um, same with a couple of these other little brushes and then a couple of these out here. But this one is the worst of all. I would not recommend it at all. I paid $5 for it, so it's not worth it worth it to me to get one um you can just as well clean it with the it's called makeup sh shampoo that i have um that i got ha got for christmas from five and below um it works better with that or just rinsing them with water um so definitely rinsing them with makeup sh or brush shampoo or just water works don't get one of those um again or if you want to ruin your brushes, go ahead. Um, I would definitely give this a big thumbs down. Um, yeah, it was just not a very good product. That's actually the first part I said no to. Um, so yeah, well, I love you guys. I'll see you guys next Thursday with another video. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And if you screenshotted that you have done all those and Tweet me on Twitter at Emberly Jarback, and I see it. You will get a follow and a shout out in next week's video. Um, also, follow me on all my social medias. So I'll put them right here. Well, I'll see you guys next Thursday. Love you guys. Peace.